if you ever had problems with colors of your print, so it's not the same uh, that you can see on your screen, then you probably also heard about color management. Now, color management is a big, big topic and it's quite complicated and to tell the truth, it's quite boring. But in Lightroom 4, now they made it really easy with soft proofing to make sure that you see on the screen exactly the colors that you are going to print. You can press S, by the way, a keyboard shortcut to see this. And the histogram changes when you are in soft proofing mode and it also says that it's the proof preview and it even changes the background color. Now if you want you can always change the background color for the soft proofing. You can right click and choose the color that you prefer. It can be black or paper white or any other options that you have here. So I'm going to set it back to paper white for now. And now that we are in soft proofing we can decide what device and what paper we would like to simulate. But before I do that, I'm going to click on Create Proof Copy, which will create a virtual copy of the actual file, so all my changes to the colors will be on a separate file. It won't make uh, a duplicate of the, the original file, it will just create a duplicate here, a virtual copy in Lightroom. So you can see on my film strip, this is a virtual copy only for soft proofing. So I'm going to use this to prepare the image for print. And once I have everything set up like this, I can now decide the device or paper that I would like to print on. So I can choose the default options as RGB and Adobe RGB. And uh, I can also click on other. Now, in other, I can choose all the profiles I have installed on my computer. And I have an option here. This one is a color profile, an ICC profile, for a specific printer and a specific paper. As you can see, it already uses the option called simulate paper and ink. I can always turn that on and off and see what happens. But in this case, I'm going to keep that on just to make it uh, even more close to the final result, the final print. And um, the most important thing is that we can see the problems with this uh, photo. So if we want to print it with this printer and with this paper, I can turn on the destination color warning, which will show me all the areas with colors that the pre printer won't be able to print. So that means these parts won't show up exactly the same as I see it on the screen. You can always play with the rendering intent, change relative to perceptual. Most of the times it won't change much and it won't help you much. What I found is the best way to get rid of this is to go to the panel called HSL, color black and white, and there I will keep it in HSL, hue, saturation, luminance, and I choose saturation, and I click on the targeted adjustment tool. Once you have this tool, you can click on the image and drag it down or up to increase or decrease the saturation of those specific colors. And as you can see, I've got rid of all the problems, so there's no gamut warning now at all on the photograph. That means if I have my uh, computer screen calibrated, then what I see on the screen will be exactly the same what I will see on the print. Obviously, it depends on the screen, so you have to make sure your screen is calibrated in the work environment that you are working. But once you have that, and once you have everything set up like this, how, you, uh, how I did it in this video, then it should be fine. Now I just clicked on done, and I would like to show you if we go to the print module, and we go down to the print job, there we have the color management options, and from the profile, we can choose the same exact profile that we use for soft proofing. That is great, because now that I want to actually print it, I can use the same option. And with the print adjustment, which is also another new feature in Lightroom 4, I can still make some minor adjustments to the brightness and contrast if the print still doesn't match exactly what I see on the screen. So you can see that once you follow these steps, it is actually really simple and much, much easier to match the colors of your print to your screen.